we'll talk a, just a little bit about why we use milestones. What are they useful for? Why do management teams want them? Why do venture teams use them and frame them and think about them and focus on them? Why do partners look to that sec section to clarify what a business plan is all about, what the possibilities are? Uh, why the investors are so focused around what the business plan, business milestones, the milestones in the business plan are about. One of the things that's important about milestones is that they give you a focus. In other words, when the team lays out what its milestones are, we're going to do these things in the first 30 days, these things in the first 60 days, these things in the first 90 days, these things in the first six months. It gives focus to the team of what to be working on and what's viewed as an accomplishment. It helps you understand how you're going to go about systematically as a team and mitigate the risk within your operation. This is also why it's so important that the milestones cover all the fronts, all the bases, so that you're not focusing on getting your market going and you leave out technology or you leave out strategy or you leave out your operation or for whatever reason you aren't able to pull together something that makes what you're doing profitable. You may get all the customers in the world but you're losing money because you haven't worked the operations. So you want them to be broad. You also want them to be clear because what they do, uh, raising a company, coming up with a business idea, forming a venture, getting things started and going from scratch to an operational business, there's a lot of ambiguity people don't really understand. There's a lot of confusion. People think differently. So milestones help bring clarity around what everyone collectively is working towards. They help you understand what steps have to be taken in a nice organized manner, why you're taking the steps, and what needs to be accomplished. They also give you a sense of, 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 of security that if you meet all of these milestones, you are successful. That's why you want it to be a complete set. You're trying to define how success happens. If your milestones aren't well constructed, you find yourself focusing on doing things that don't really mean anything in the end. So they provide clarity around what needs to be accomplished for the business. They also give everyone on the team, all your partners, your customers, your suppliers, uh, your investors, your board of directors, yourself, your senior team, anyone that's involved, transparency about what people are working on. So you're not spending a lot of time communicating to people about what it is you're trying to do. They know. It's in the system. It's in the list. It, these are the things we need to be checking off. We need to have our grand opening. We need to get our technology platform completed. We need to get our online um, customer service center up and running. We need to make sure that we file for the right legal forms and all of this. They're all milestones. They're all listed right there. Everybody knows what needs to happen. And people feel confident. They're, they want to succeed. They want to work on these things themselves. So what happens is if you're able to give them those um, a complete list of what needs to happen and how it needs to happen and what they look like in a clear and a focused manner, people just do it. That's what, They want to succeed. They want to work hard and they want to make things happen. They want, they're invested in the venture success, so they want it to make success, to be successful. It also, I don't, I don't know how you feel, but one of the things that's most fun in the light, in the world is checking off something from your list of to-dos. If you have a list of to-dos and you manage to complete one of them, you know, like I need to make sure I get all my Christmas shopping done or something like that or my holiday shopping, and when you complete it and you can check that list, it feels good. You've gotten something accomplished. So milestones also serve that purpose. You feel like you're getting things done. It is working. You're trying to do these 11, 12, 15 things. You've gotten three of them done so far. You feel the progress. It feels good. You finished a midterm test. Whatever it is you're doing, you can check it off the list, move on to the next thing, and feel like you've accomplished something. So these are some of the important reasons why we develop these um, milestones and why they serve not only the individual entrepreneur but the team, the
the investors, the partners, everybody in, involved. They focus effort, they clarify what has to happen. Everybody knows in a nice transparent way. And as you accomplish things, you limit the risk in your company. You take these steps forward, you accomplish things, you feel like you've made success, you've made progress, you're on the way to a successful venture. And as you check them all off, once they're all checked off, indeed, you have a successful business. That's what milestones are all about. We'll continue with this discussion in a little bit more detail in the next video.